Good morning everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you are well. As you can probably see behind me, I'm back down the River Avon today. This is a private stretch that my neighbour lets me fish. I've come down this rather chilly morning, as you can see by my headwear, and I've got my thermals on. Um, I've come down this rather chilly morning to do a bit of perch fishing, just for a couple of hours, uh, perhaps three hours at the most, because he's going to chuck it down all afternoon. I was going to come out this afternoon, but supposed to absolutely bang it down all afternoon so uh, i thought it'd beat the weather come out this morning instead so yeah um i've got two pronged attack approach really i've got one of my very old john wilson robex rods i've got the avon top on here and i've actually got a homemade bobber float on there made by my friend dennis we're going to fish some worms on that that's the idea i've also got with me as a bit of a backup in here i've got my ultralight as well which we could do some quiver tipping if we fancy. Um, but the idea is I'm just going to fish this bobber float um, with a worm near the bottom. Um, <clears throat> just to run you through all the gear, I've just got a very cheapy Advanta X5 reel on there. Uh, X530 reel. Just some uh, five pound mono. And it, we're going to fish just off these lilies here. There's some nice perch in this stretch. We've never come down here and actually targeted the perch. So this is a first, but I have caught perch down here in the past. We'll, uh, we'll run through the other rod as and when we use it. But for now, I think we'll probably get cracking before this weather beats us. It's a nice day. It's a nice day for a, for a bit of fishing. Anyway, it's, it's very still, which is not ideal, but it's very overcast. The light levels are very low, so that'll be good. Um, and also killing two birds with one stone. I've brought uh, Missy with me as well. She's happily chewing sticks up there. <laughs> right, enough waffle. Let's get on with it before we get soaked. <laughs> so the approach today... I said worms really but I've got some maggots with me as well which um it's got some old ones in here just been using up <laughs> hardly any I've got a couple of pints as well just been sort of sprinkling those around really obviously that will get the perch interested but should get the uh hordes of bait fish as well that are in here hopefully we'll get them interested we'll keep them going in and we'll uh we'll get a dendrobean on the hook right let's get this rod we'll get cast in now, I know from experience, it's uh, it's a, at least eight foot in the edge here. So we'll, uh, we'll get set to eight foot and then we'll take it from there. We can go up or down from there. Tess, out. Come on, out, move. Good girl, go on, out. She's still at that age <laughs> where she's, uh, she's into absolutely everything. Got to put her face in everything. She'll, uh, she'll grow up a bit now. Soon. Right. As I say, we'll, we'll get some worms on. See how we get on. It's possibly a little bit deeper. <laughs> set, set more like about 10 foot there, but we'll, we'll see. We'll soon know because I've got the bulk down. So if the float doesn't cock, then we'll know we're a bit over depth and that has cocked. Look. <laughs> so clearly the, the, uh, the shot and not on the bottom. Because there's a little bit of uh, flow through here, a tiny little bit. So maybe a, an idea to get those shot, a bulk of shot on the bottom. But that's, I mean, that's crazy. I've set that at nearly 10 foot and it's still moving through. Clearly not on the bottom. See if we can get a bit of a, a bit of attraction going. It'd be nice actually. I could just run that float along the front of these lilies. Nice lily bed in there. Be nice to catch a, a lovely early autumn stripey or two this morning. Sure, we'll catch a few, but it's a bit of a lottery, isn't it? How big they're going to be. <laughs> we'll keep trickling this along the front of these lily pads. I say we'll give it half an hour or so, and then nothing happening. We'll, we'll fish a static bait on the bottom. We'll, uh, we'll get the ultralight out.
Oh, hello. There we go. Just cast that in, it's going to put some maggots in. Well, that's what I thought perhaps would happen. Get some smaller perch. Just cast that one a little bit further out. Went away straight away. So, uh, perhaps a little bit further out than I was expecting. Of course, being a perch, he's uh, swallowed the up. Back you go, fella. <laughs> right, well. Not quite the size we were after, but certainly the species. We'll, uh, I'll try a bit further out in that case. There we go again, straight away. I <laughs> certainly seem to respond to these maggots. Let's leave it a little bit longer this time. A few bobs on the float and it stops. Could be a roach or something, couldn't it? I guess playing around with it. We're certainly getting some attention now. Oh, how did I miss that? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> As I say, it may well be may well be the smaller fish. There's a sort of roach and skimmers, hybrids, etc. Grabbing it because it's fairly decent sized dendrobina. We've got a size 10 hook on. So we're not exactly uh, fishing with finesse. Oh, hello. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh, we don't get into the fish, but we get into the lilies. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we're getting some bites anyway. That's the main thing. And they're absolutely sailing away as well. Float is sailing under. And we're missing them. If we keep missing them, we'll have to uh, perhaps change, put a bigger hook on or something. Something's not right. I'd say maybe other fish. It might be a uh, little roach and stuff. Oh yeah, there's an otter right here. If you saw that, otter just poked his head out of the reeds right down here. See that big fizz of bubbles? He just popped his nose out, had a look at me. Probably didn't see us, probably my head was in the way. It's mad, isn't it? 11 o'clock in the morning. I don't want to quite catch anything. Right, here we go. Ah, we're on this time. <laughs> Another juvenile, I think. Yes. <laughs> well, managed to connect with that one. A few missed bites. <laughs> so we've connected with that one. So there's still, still a few fish about, despite the otter. It's not something you expect it. 11 o'clock in the morning, I have to say. Although it is a very quiet stretch here. I mean, people walk across the other side. But it is very quiet on this side. It's sort of private property. Not really anyone comes down here. But, uh, yeah. Still not expecting not to stick his face out the water three foot off your welly. <laughs> oh, hello. Seems that we've now scared the otter off. <laughs> so we're getting a few bites. Nothing of any size yet, unfortunately, but uh, we'll keep at it. Like I say, perhaps 
perhaps seeing that otter has actually done us a favour. Or the otter seen us, I should say. <laughs> More like. Perhaps it's done us a favour and he's, uh, he's done one. Yeah. Well, the otter's back. I don't know if you can see. There's a big stream of bubbles across there. Look. See these bubbles? All across there. Yeah, I think we're possibly wasting our time today. Yeah, it's out mid-river now. It's clearly patrolling along here. A telltale stream of bubbles. <laughs> Spectacular. Oh, this wind's picking up. I said it was going to get windy and rainy, and it's starting to get windy. This is uh, this is hard going, I have to say. I think this cold snap of weather isn't done the fishing in general any good at all. But we'll have a go with a static bait. That might. Uh, Do a, do a better job for us. And break out this ultralight. Right, <sighs> that's doing nothing, or all, all but nothing. So we'll uh, we'll get that in. <laughs> we'll try and get that in. Come on. There we go. Trundling this bait through is certainly uh, certainly not doing any good at all. Really, very very. Uh, quiet even with a otter around the place I thought about a few more bites than that it was very very quiet but perhaps they'll be a bit more tempted with a static bait as I say hopefully anyway <laughs> they couldn't be any less tempted could they <laughs> got a couple of SSG shot on here just got a, a, one of my standard running ledger rigs on here um, if you want to go and have a look how I tie this up, I'll stick a link to the video up there. You can go and have a look. It's a bit easier than trying to show you here. I'll stick a worm on here. Get it on the bottom. You can perhaps twitch it along as well. Twitch it along the bottom, but I'm just wondering if they, they want it a bit a bit more static than uh, than how we've been fishing. Let that drop down. God, some depth in there. <laughs> right. Eyes on the tip. This is my Drennan Ultralight rod. Uh, nine or ten foot. You can set it up by changing the dolly piece in here. And I've got a Shimano Nasi reel. I think that's how you say it. N-A-S-C-I reel on the end but well, we can see how deep this is now <laughs> look at the angle my line's going down at blimey I always thought it was about six or eight foot and then deepened off but blimey some depth in there at least 10 11 foot wow Unbelievably, I'm having less action on the ultralight than I did on my throat. <laughs> oh dear. I even tried a few maggots. Nothing. Twitching it through along the bottom, but is it going on at all? I say, even, even on maggot, I think that we'd perhaps get a few smaller fish, but Absolutely nothing. Tough day. Tough day at the office. Oh, hello. Had a bite down straight away.
There we go. What's this? Feels perchy. Doesn't feel particularly big. It feels bigger than anything else we've caught so far. <laughs> well, that'll do. It's a start. <laughs> Fab. Well, it's a little bit more like we're after what we're after. <laughs> but what a what a tough session this has been. Perhaps we're turning a corner, you never know. Let's drop one about four times that size, that'll do me. <laughs> Give that twitch and then uh, <laughs> over it went. This feels a bit better. Plowing through all the lilies. Hopefully we're getting through. Oh, that's more like what we came for. Wow, that's... Whoa! Now that's what we came for. <laughs> Well, that's more like it. Not a monster by any means, but definitely more like the stamp of fish we were after. <laughs> I say no, no monster, but that's more like it, isn't it? <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Autumn perch, fab. Wonderful. Right, let's try and catch his big brother. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I don't know, perhaps if this wind, this bit of chop has, uh, has helped. But something's, uh, sparked them into gear. It may well be this bit of wind that's, that's, uh, suddenly picked up. It's proper blowing now. <laughs> no, that's it. That'll do me. But yeah, that's been very enjoyable couple of very enjoyable couple of hours down here. But uh, definitely time to uh, give way to the weather. I think it's uh, <laughs> getting a bit hairy, and seeds will chuck it down any minute as well. So we'll uh, we'll get home. I think I've had a nice nice couple of hours. So really enjoyed that. And I hope you have too. Something uh, I've not done this year so far, but I'm going to get after the perch this year. I do do love a perch. Who doesn't? I mean, very beautiful fish, aren't they? Especially with their autumn colours and with the river nice and clear at the moment as well. They're really vivid green and they've got that lovely orange on them as well. So yeah, I do love catching the perch and there are some cracking ones in here. So it's been meaning for a few years to get after them down here, but uh, not got around to it, but uh, I'm gonna have a go this year, certainly. Now I'm gonna try and get out again over the weekend as well. Not sure exactly what to do or or where I'm gonna go yet, but uh, we'll, we'll have a look at the weather and see exactly what that's doing. and. Uh, Choose a species, suitable species, I think, in the venue. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your absolutely wonderful support. And I'll see you all again very soon.